with the Freeborn County Historical Museum Library and Village. I'm Stephanie Kibler. This is Risha Lilienthal. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 and today we are featuring the bees knees, the bees knees. which is just i mean it's, it's so it's fun too fun to say yeah so i did a little digging because okay. the phrase kind of piqued my curiosity uh -huh. um it was originally an 18th century fanciful phrase oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> this cracked me up at my desk even so it referred to something that didn't exist and it was used um as the kind of spoof item apprentices would be sent to the stores to fetch, like tartan paint, tartan as a plaid, oh. or left-handed hammer, <laughs> which <laughs> Pete pulls a left-handed hammer out on me once in a while. Oh, no. um, in the roaring 20s in America, bright young things invented nonsense bright language to things. refer, I know, right? I stole that. Refer to, like, to refer to things that were the tops which was, you know, the best. Yeah. Like the cat's pajamas. The goat. What? The goat. The goat? Yeah, the greatest of all time. I don't get it. That's the goat. The goat. Is the greatest of all time. Okay. That's like modern. Okay, I'm like, that's, so that's the top. <laughs> um, the snake's hips. Snakes um, don't have hips, unless you call all of their turns their hips. Well, that's what the thing, like bees knees. But, I'm going to jump a little bit. Because bees do have knees. I know. <laughs> Which, <laughs> really, when you think about it, they have lots of knees. Because mm -hmm. they have six legs. And each leg has six sections. Mm -hmm. So. They're like. Yes. Yeah. That's a lot of knees. Uh -huh. um, and they don't really call them knees. But right. the bees knees. So it was kind yeah. of funny. Um, so bees carry pollen back to the hive in the sacks on their legs, which I just saw a really cute um, picture of a honeybee from behind in a purple flower. Oh. And uh, they were talking about how they actually, once they collected some pollen, they kind of take a little nap. Oh. So he was actually napping Sleeping in the flower in a purple flower, all covered in pollen. It was hilarious. Did you know that mice do that too? Like really tiny mice, if they can get up into a flower they sleep in there really it's i really thought you were tell me they collected the pollen no they just sleep in there they're not quite that good for the environment as bees are <laughs> uh, so again this is another cocktail that's um more modern nessus no well oh. not hard to track the real oh, the origin yeah. yes yeah yes um because one story talks about frank meyer mm -hmm. Um, who was an Austrian who worked in Paris, head bartender at Cafe Parisian at the Ritz. So he gets credit. At the Ritz. Um, the Ritz opened in 1921, and, and it, it said that he came up with this gin, lemon juice, honey syrup cocktail. A hundred years ago. A hundred years ago. Um, the it's also considered the unsinkable Titanic cocktail. Oh, no. What? Um, <laughs> a version of the Bee's Knees history credits... The woman, um, unsinkable Molly Brown, Aww, yeah, uh, who was one of the 712 who survived the mm -hmm. Titanic. Mm -hmm. uh, Margaret Tobin Brown, wealthy widow of a gold miner. Um, and in, let's see, a story from April 1929 issue of the Brooklyn Standard Union about the current trend for women-only bars. Oh, wow. In 1929. Uh, in Paris claimed that Ms. Brown, who frequented frequented these bars, came up with the recipe for the Bee's Knees gin cocktail. Um, many, though, I think, believe that it was a prohibition cocktail. Oh. Um, invented in the U.S. Um, during the 1920s, which is kind of known as possibly the booziest, the booziest the decade of 20s. the 20th century, yeah. which Roaring Twenties, yep. which now there's a lot of talk if you're listening um, as we're coming out of this pandemic that we might be in for Going another, another Roaring Twenties. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder if that happened in the 1820s too. Oh, that's interesting. Something to look up. Something to check <laughs> on. Librarian Linda. <laughs> um, so lemon juice and honey syrup were used to cover up the bathtub gin. Aha. Uh -huh. 
which that makes yeah, a lot of yeah, sense. That's nice. It's like sour and sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it does lend credence to the this drink's history because the bee's knees was a slang used during Prohibition. Oh. Uh, here's a line that I really like. I'll take the bee's knees, Mac, and step on it before the bulls show up. What does that mean? Before the cops get here. The bulls were the cops? <laughs> the, the cops were also called the heat in the 20s. Well, before the bulls show up. The bulls show up. And I don't have to take my martini glass, which is created to flip my drink. <laughs> uh, the cat's whiskers. That was another phrase. Way. I like that yeah. one. Yeah. Um, so anyway. Um, it's also the flea's eyebrows was one. Oh, curious. Yeah. Curious. The canary's tusks. Canaries. Can you see a little canary with a Ooh. tusk? <laughs> or, or could you see our, our Wilma the woolly with little canary wings? I wouldn't carry her far. The, the Woolies Wings. The Woolies Wings. <laughs> New one. Trademark. TM, TM, TM. <laughs> That's going to be the catchphrase for the new night, for the 2021, the roaring, the new roaring 20s. <laughs> the Woolies Wings. <laughs> oh my God. That would be hard to say too, if you had a few of the bee's knees. Oh wow. So should we mix yes. one? Yes. Or maybe two? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. So, um, so we've got our ice shaker with ice. Um, two ounces of gin for each drink. I think we so can four four ounces. Right. And we did make our own honey syrup. Um, I had some honey from the Amish farms over in um, St. Charles area. Uh, and really all you do is one part honey, one part warm water and stir and mix. And I've not had a um, honey syrup before in a beverage mm -mm. that I know of. And so you got pretty local then. Yes, I try. That's I do good. local honey. I'm told is the way to go, um, especially because it's good for if you have like allergies correct. or something. It um, so local honey is supposed to help with your allergies. Honey's good for your digestion, mm -hmm. and it's good for your sleep because it releases. Um, oh, what is the thing that the chemical the neck um, serotonin. 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 Um, and helps you sleep better. So then we're going to do three quarters ounce of the honey syrup. So that is like one and a half tablespoons. Oh, so I just do the tablespoon? Maybe just do the tablespoon. One and a half? One and a half. Cool. It's still pretty gold. It is. Actually, you get to do three because it's one and a half each. Oh, yay! <laughs> Two, two are in and out. Oh, you know, you get to pour that whole thing in there. And that Never was mind. Sweet. Yeah. Never mind. If it's a little sweeter, I'm fine That's, with that. That. Was, that was it. Sorry, folks. <laughs> it's this math. Um, After children being here all day. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been, it's been two weeks of school tours mm -hmm. and every eighth, kindergarten through fifth grade. Mm -hmm. We did um, our very first virtual tour yesterday with 200 kids. Yeah. Um, so then it is also, we're gonna add um, three quarters ounce each. So three, I think I just did that wrong. Should've been two and a half ounces. All right, we yeah. got a little extra in there. That's fine. That's two fine. and a half oh. ounces of lemon juice, math. Two and a half ounces. So yeah. do it. Maybe, um, here, just squeeze it in that and then we can pour. That was a nice one. Yeah. We could have prepped this a little earlier. Kind of. Maybe. Yeah. We're showing you our technique. It's always good to have a technique. Finger muscles. That's my technique. Uh, there are variations on this cocktail too. Okay. Which um, were kind of fun. Um, Are you going to show gonna, me how to do it? <laughs> I just think we're going to we're gonna have some seeds in here. Well, yeah, that's fine. We're going to have to keep going. Seeds don't hurt. I How many do you have? Do we have to do all of them? Well, it, we need two and a half ounces. Oh. So we probably have to do that other half too. Okay. That That's works. That's kind of gross. <laughs> Let me see. I got to figure out her technique there. That was with the palm of her hand. Oh. <laughs> you got to use the palm of it's your hand, all about guys. technique here at the museum. Hands on learning. <laughs> Truly. Okay. We could do 101 history bartending. Okay, um, two 
and a half? Two and two. Okay, wait now. <laughs> two and a half. How many are they? It's three quarters. Three we quarters. need two of three quarters. Two times three That's quarters. One, one and, and a half. half. Yeah. Okay. One and then like. You think that's a half? Except that's only, that we're doing ounces, so only two of those is one ounce. Oh, okay. So one, two, also three. That's what you said last that's time. That's what I'm struggling yeah. with this. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> do your math ahead of time. I think we're still doing it wrong. I don't, think, I don't know. So then we'll you, we're going to shake that. Okay. Just enough to chill it. it really is a pretty color. It's a nice honey color. I like that. Um, that looks good. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. You just pour it in. Mm-hmm. And you can do a lemon wedge. I did a twist. I thought Aww. a wedge seemed a little... A little too much. ...bulky for... For a nice, for a nice martini. little martini. Yeah. Especially if it was like, you know, one that uh, the unsinkable Molly Brown had served <laughs> at, at the, a woman's only bar in 1929. And it also like releases the scent of it. It too. does. It, it kind of it opens nice. that up. Well, this yeah. is really lovely. Can okay, we smell? Mm -hmm. It smells lemony and honey. Oh, yum. Yeah. You know what would make this better? It's like a sugar rim. I was just thinking that'd be really pretty too. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites. This is really good. I love that. Yeah. Um, so the variations. Mm -hmm. If you use rum instead of gin, it's a honeysuckle. Oh. Um, use vodka instead of gin, you have to name it yourself. That one hasn't been done yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if you use old Tom gin instead of dry gin, mm -hmm. you have cat's whiskers. Oh, okay. So they kept the, the lingo. Yes, yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Nice. So I just thought, thought this was really, uh, it was fun to kind of it's research fun. the beast. Yes. <laughs> well, the 20s slang I know, right? is fantastic. That's what I kind of went into a little bit was a lot of the 20s swing. I got the best 1920s slang on a whole bunch of pages. Oh, my here. gosh. Look it's, at all of that. It's like A to Z here. All right. Here. Pick one. Pick one. Open it. I, I just pull it. If you lambed off. You ran, ran away. away. <laughs> so awesome. You gotta do it with like an accent too, you know? Cause they okay. have, yeah, do another one. Hitting the pipe. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> that means smoking opium, that's sorry. That was a bit much. Uh, pick a number. We talked about opium actually on the podcast too, because, yeah. uh, what, how was because that? Because that was during the temperance movement where they're saying, <laughs> don't have any alcohol right. guys, this is terrible for you. But look, we got an opium. We got opium for sale. Mm. You or morphine. Like, that was crazy. That was crazy. Pick a number. Pick a number Pick between a, one and four thirty. Three hundred and twenty-one. Three twenty-one. That one is. You put the screws on me. If you put the screws oh, on me, you got a question. Okay, you just took you me into with. like a Three Stooges movie with a guy praying a cop. <laughs> oh, no. um, you know the cops with the billy clubs and the big hats. Yes. And she was talking on the side of your mouth. You're talking on the side of your mouth. Well, there's also one of, one of them was uh, squeeze. If your squeeze is the girl, you're you're well, like that's with. Not, that's no, you kinda, got your main squeeze. That kind of stuck. You know, that stuck. Yeah. Now they just say bay. Ugh. I don't like bay either. either. That's, it seems it's main, before not that, everything. Not else. that main squeeze is respectful, but mm. bay is kind of like man. <laughs> a twist was also a woman. A twist. Ooh. She was a twist. Huh. I kind of like yeah. that. Yeah. And they had sleuth. That stuck. A detective sleuth. is a sleuth. Yeah, For some sleuth reason, I thought that came was European. Really? I don't know why I thought sleuth. Mm. Well, I mean, Sherlock Holmes is like the sleuth. biggest sleuth, you know. Or Nancy Drew, though. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew went sleuthing. <laughs> the Hardy Boys. Nancy Hardy Drew's counterpart. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, they, like, a heater was a gun. Mm-hmm. The heat was the police. So the heat with the heater was the police with the gun. <laughs> and then also gun was Roscoe. Oh, Roscoe. Was that a brand, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of really fun lingo in the 1920s. A jug was a jail. 
Thank I got so stuck in the jug last night. And we're put in jail. <laughs> jalopy. Well, I know jalopy's a vehicle. Yeah, it's an old car. Mm -hmm. I knew that. I didn't know that. That's I think a they, fun word. I think they even talked about jalopies on Happy Days. Oh, I bet you they did. I'm almost positive. Yes, well, because a lot of the, because I thought the bee's knees, I thought that phrase was 1950s. Mm. Because mm -hmm. that's kind of the whole thing mm. where each generation kind of is nostalgic for a, a couple generations back. Okay. So like the 50s was nostalgic for a lot of 20s stuff. The cat's meow would be another the one. The cat's meow. Yeah. You're the cat's meow. <laughs> You're the top. <laughs> Yeah. Your so, conk is your head. Your conk. Well, that's conk your head. Yep. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A canary was a woman singer. So probably a soprano, right? Yeah. A cake eater. And what is the definition there? That means a ladies' man. Oh, interesting, because nowadays a cake eater is somebody who's privileged. Oh. Yeah, cat's meows on there too. Something splendid or stylish. Yes, cat's meow. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. I didn't like I didn't I didn't delve into Freeborn County history with I, this one because I I tried but I did nothing nothing like I mean I know we've got beekeepers here in yeah. Freeborn but that's not like historic. I have one that goes with the Itasca Rock Garden. You too. Awesome. Yeah. So, like, you know, we have Kohler with the Itasca yep, Rock Garden yep, yep. helping out, bringing it all together. And um, in there, in the rock garden is that nice castle uh -huh. that's kind of in, like, center back of the garden. Uh -huh. That originally was made to house beehives. Oh, wow. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. And, like, construction like store their construction material and stuff. Sure. But yeah, he originally wanted to make it to put beehives in oh, for bees. Love that. Maybe yeah. we could do that. That would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be really great. There also was a local legend though, that he made that to become his tomb. Yes, um, I, I don't know where that came from, but I've heard that from several sources. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, and that would be, you know, really having bees there would make sense because of the gardens. They had yeah. so many flowers mm -hmm. that... That would be pollinating, um, you know. Which, just so folks know, we should say Kohler Foundation um, conservators will be on site starting mid-July. Yeah. And so we'll do some neighborhood things, mm -hmm. um, invitations for people to come and meet the conservators and find out what they're doing and how it works and yeah. all that fun stuff. That would be really fun. That would be really fun. Yeah. Maybe we'll serve bees knees. Uh -huh. We could do that. Yeah. That could be fun. Yeah. Have a little bees knees cocktail party. Mm -hmm. um, so it, did you find anything else though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that it's was not the a, one. It's not a like historic, I guess. I, I mean, I'm sure it is, but it hasn't been really recorded very right. um, attainably, it's, I guess. It's interesting because I, uh, when I worked in Steel County, a gal from Waseca County sold some honey in the gift store there. Mm -hmm. And she actually has her I believe it's her grandfather's the honey honey oh like their home set up like the, the, the all of it the the equipment yeah. and everything so that is was a really cool history piece but I didn't find that here mm. well and so like if you're watching and you know historically like a family member right. or something let us, let us know we'd like to have that, that would recorded be here recorded here and, and maybe feature it yeah. when that rock garden opens right yeah yeah so I do have one thing okay. um, that I do want to encourage folks to do when they enjoy their bees knees out on their back patio, because I loved this song when I played it the other day in my office. You need to put on Hesitation Blues by Jelly Roll Morton. Oh, I think I remember you playing that. Very fun little tune, mm -hmm. fun little lyrics. Mm -hmm. um, you can take a step back in time. Step back in time with yeah. your bees knees. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers.